everyone my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel and as you can see we're in a bit of a different angle today because I just got done filming a video and I realized that I really really need to kind of fix up my bookshelves I, I don't know if you can see from here but basically it's a mess it's not a mess as in well it's kind of a mess, you know, we got books stacked on top of each other, books that don't go with their series and everything, and I tried to fix it up a little bit for my last video, but I made the executive decision that today is the day where I'm going to put everything where it should go, all right? Or at least where I think it should go, and then my husband can be like, hey girl, maybe we shouldn't put that there. But this is the only bookshelf that we have in the house. We do have this i'm sorry my house is kind of a disaster right now but there we have these shelves where i keep my tbr so um i'm going to take you with me i don't know how this is going to work with the tripod and everything but we're going to try to make my shelves as youtuber -y as possible in other words we're going to try to put the books that i like near the bottom because i sit right here right next to my cat's litter box. But yeah, I, I wanna put books that I like there and then I'm gonna just put my husband's books on the top. So if you will come with me, let's get started. Now, down here, these books are rarely ever seen and they, because I, when I'm sitting here, you can't see them. But a lot of the books down here are also not in order. So we have like Harry Potter 4, 7, 6, and then we have the Magician's Dictionary, which is another Harry Potter book. These are all Rodrigo's Spanish Harry Potter books, so I'm going to try to look for the rest of them on the shelf, and I'm just going to either keep them down here or put them up there where my hardbacks are. So I'm going to take them out, and I'm going to set them off to the side. I have no idea how this is going to go, really. Over here we have... Eldest, which is the second book in the Aragorn, um, what is it, Quartet, whatever, Aragorn series, and I'm pretty sure I have the first one somewhere around here because I just used it, found it. Here it is, so we're going to put these two together. Here I have Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, it's either here or here, so I'm just going to leave it there. Ender's Game, I have the Spanish edition because I lost the English edition. I love this book, so I'm going to see if we put it up here somewhere. This is Vampire Pirates, and this is one of my husband's books from when he was a kid. So we're going we're gonna, to uh, display that somewhere, not down here. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to start like kind of placing things. Remember that time I hauled the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde? I have another edition of it <laughs> that I bought secondhand and that I totally forgot. So now I've got two versions of it. So I'm gonna keep them both, mostly because I, I have, yeah, you know, I bought secondhand somewhere. It was probably like 50, 50 cents. So I'm gonna just keep these two together. like the Harry Potter of Spain and then I put actual Harry Potter and now I have some space there so the top two shelves have become my husband's shelves which you know I think you'll be happy about. I have a class in about an hour so we need to get this at least somewhat sorted. <laughs> Oh, honey, though our friendship ceases from now on. 
it was much faster than I anticipated. I actually thought that I was gonna be here for hours. It took so much less time than I thought it would and I'm very happy with how everything turned out. Of course, I still have the TBR shelf which once I read those books, they will come here, so we'll see how that all works out, but for now, I'm very happy with the result, and I think my husband's gonna be really happy because all of his books are together, his collections are together, and that makes me very happy. And I also found some books that I think that I'm gonna add to that donate pile from before, from my on haul video, which I'll link up here in the cards and down below, like always. Now, you had already seen this. This is Morir no es lo que más duele de Inés Plana. And I actually put this back on my shelf when really what I was supposed to do is give it back to the person that let me borrow it, but I haven't seen them because, you know, we're all in social isolation. So I'm just going to put this with the other books that I'm going to donate. My cat is about to use the little box. Oh no, she just found her little toy. Good. And then I found this Las Estrellas Mi Destino by Alfred Bester, which I actually think is translated from English. If I find the title, I'll just put it over this face. And I tried reading this book because I really was feeling like a sci-fi book. In fact, look at that. I have a bookmark in here. All right, sorry, things look a little different. I was just playing around with the angles so that you could see the books. But as I was saying before, my cat decided to use the litter box like she always does when I'm filming. I even had a bookmark in here, but I found this book to be both boring and supremely sexist. So I'm just gonna donate this and maybe somebody out there will enjoy it. I'm pretty sure somebody has, but that person isn't me. Then I have two books actually from a book club I was a part of before, like an IRL book club in Spanish. And that is Canción de Sangre y Oro by Jorge Molitz. This is a historical fiction book about kings in Spain and court life. And as you can see, I got to page 50. Here's my bookmark. <laughs> and then I tried to get to page 150, but it didn't work. But I know that my sister loves these kinds of books. So I'm just going to gift it to her and see if she likes it. The other one I have here is by Jose Carlos Amoza. And it's El Origen del Mar. And it's a Civil War story <laughs> because... Spanish love writing about the Civil War. Um, I was just not interested. I was also, when I read this, I was very confused because there's a lot of historical stuff here that I just didn't understand at the time because I had only lived in Spain for, I think, a year and a half. So I had to keep asking my husband about certain things. So I just didn't enjoy it. So I'm gonna pass it on to somebody who will enjoy it. Then we have this book by Barbara Taylor Bradford that I'm guessing was translated from English called Ser la Mejor or Being the Best. Where did I get this book from? I have no idea and I know this is not my husband so uh, I'm, this is going in the donate pile. And this book actually does belong to my husband and I think he did try to read it and got to page 30 and it's called Emperador Las Puertas de Roma so Emperor the Doors of Rome um, the story of the most celebrated man in Rome, Julius Caesar, by Con Igulden. Igulden? I have no idea. I'm gonna ask him if he wants to keep this because honestly, this is the first time I've ever seen this book and he's probably gonna wanna keep it because he's kind of a hoarder. So if he wants to keep it, I'll just find a place up there in his two shelves for it. I also have these three amazing books that I'm not gonna be displaying on these shelves, but on my TBR shelf, not the TBR shelf, but the shelf on top, which is more like a, a display shelf, which are uh, plants, medicinal plants and cures with medicinal plants. And this is just a beautiful book that talks about plants and how to use them for cures. It's kind of magical-ish and stuff like that. And I love this book. I love displaying it. I think it looks, it makes me feel like I'm a forest witch and it makes me happy. So I'm just gonna display it on another shelf. And along the same lines, we have El Bosque Profundo de Sofia Rey, which is like, this, this woman made a sort of tarot deck based on like strange fairy tales that she created. So these are basically tarot deck, a, a tarot deck based storybook and it's amazing inside. The illustrations are 
beautiful and I want to display it. I just don't want to keep it there like kind of hidden. So that's going over there. And finally we have the only astrology book you'll ever need by Joanna Martine Wood Wolfolk. I am an astrology en enthusiast, so I think I'm gonna keep this on my coffee table as a coffee table book just for people to peruse through and look through. And I think it's one of those things that, you know, you wanna keep out. It's also like really big. Like, let me take out here's um, Charmed Life by Diana Winnie Jones look at oh i just spoke myself in the eye look at that i mean it just doesn't really fit on the shelves and i think it would be better off displayed otherwise and that's it that's my video for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed this background from now on thank you so much for watching and it, as always please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye guys i have to stay like this for a bit because if not you know, I'm now I have to do a thumbnail. There you go. <laughs>